Nina Bausch owed much to the entire teaching staff at Josef's Volkswagenschule. In 1959, a scholarship from the Juilliard School took her to New York. Over a period of two years, she would form her style under the tuition of the leading figures of American modern dance. Joost called Pina Bausch back to Germany to dance in his new company, the Volkswagen Tanztheater. She danced for them, and notably in the role of the mother in the green table. of Pina Bausch was also full of fractures. From the outset, she made her dance bring together truthfulness and reality. In 1973, she founded the Wuppertal Tanztheater with a company and a theater which were permanent from now onwards. She took dance and theater beyond the limits of what seemed possible. Silences became more of a deciding factor than screams. The body more a determining factor than text theatrical production more real than everyday life. Bausch's raw material was people and the relationships between people. The lives of her dancers often created situations with which each spectator could identify himself. But how does she work with her dancers in order to secure an intimacy which immediately becomes universal? Pendant les répétitions pour Nègre, Pina, comme toujours, a demandé des questions. Et une question, c'était faire quelque chose dont on est fier. Et euh, je viens de revenir d'Amérique. Et j'ai appris un peu le langage sourmuyé. Et euh, j'ai appris la chanson, la chanson la, The Man I Love de George Gershwin. Et j'ai euh, présenté. Deadly Sins, Bluebeard, Contacthof, Victor. 
all hold moments of performance which are always tightly, totally controlled, where Bausch unravels humanity, finding its most secret truths, surprising its weaknesses, underpinning its cruelty, revealing its pathos, all without ever losing sight of her clear gaze of tenderness and hope. Laban's time, what was wanted was to conceive of gesture which was free and which would reveal. In Yosef's time, what was sought was belief in a fairer society which would make man better. In Bausch's time, even if it is no longer possible to ignore the fact that man's heart is eternally corrupted, it is possible to shed light on the beautiful intervals in the soul.